Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Moon Series How to Play Guides. We've already covered quite a few Pokemon within this guide series so if you've missed any of those and you'd like to go back and check them out, go up here. I'll link a little card for you beautiful people so you can go back and check them out. But if you do, make sure to leave comments, leave likes and let me know what your thoughts are on those guides, especially this one today. So today's guide, we're going to look at the Pokemon Rayquaza. So it is from the Ruby and Sapphire series of games. It is a very unique Pokemon, got some really nice niche aspects to its um, ability and it can really perform some nice jobs within teams and your builds. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode, it'll be a lot of fun covering it. It's got some nice options going forward. As always, if you enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these guides coming up. But more importantly, leave your comments down. I love hearing from you guys. So let me know your thoughts and everything else on this guide today. So without further ado guys, hope you enjoy it. Let's get into this one. So we are gonna start off as always with the Pokemon overview. Rayquaza is a flying and dragon type. It has the ability airlock. Now for those of you out there that do not know what airlock does, whenever Rayquaza is on the field, airlock activates and nullifies any effects of opposing weathers totally getting rid of them so it doesn't remove the weather so to speak it removes the effects those weathers have so the 50 percent boost to water type attacks if the rain's up 50 cent boost to fire type attacks if the sun is up it also negates the abilities that benefit from rain sun hail and sand so if there is a swift swim user on the field next to kyoga like ludicolo it will not get that speed boost. Same goes for Chlorophyll, Sand Rush and Slush Rush. It will take all of those away. It takes all abilities away. So it's acting like the weather isn't really there, although it is. So as soon as that airlock Pokemon is taken out, knocked out or switched out, the weather effects return. So that explains that. Hopefully that is a good encapsulation of the airlock ability. Very useful ability, especially in a format where there is lots of weather walls going on, especially with Groudon, Kyogre to speak. We've got common attacks on Rayquaza, things like Air Slash, Earth Power, Extreme Speed and Tailwind are going to be the most common options you're going to see used on Rayquaza. There are other options, we'll get into them as we go through the guide, but these are predominantly going to be the more popular options you're going to see on Rayquaza, so be aware of them. Base stat total, Rayquaza has a 680 base stat total has distribution of 105 HP, 150 attack, 90 defense, 150 special attack, 90 special defense, and 95 speed. Nice distribution across the board, but the big ones are going to be its offensive calculations that attack stat and special attack stat. Are going to be able to do lots of damage, and also with that 95 speed base speed stat it is very nice for getting just the jump on the majority of the other base 90 speed restricted pokemons distribution of its defenses aren't too bad it's not too shabby for a restricted pokemon but it's not going to be the most defensive out there so just be aware of that type strengths and weaknesses it has some big weaknesses here so two times weak to rock four times weak to ice a big one that you need to watch out for two times weak to dragon not so relevant in this format although there are dragon types not many of them carry dragon type attacks and that's because of the fairy types which it does have a two times weakness to it does have a nice immunity to ground because of that flying type and nice resist to fighting bug fire water and grass so the elemental types it does resist and then hit normally by everything else so all in all very nice pokemon it's got a real niche with that airlock ability and a nice type as well it can really add that little bit extra that your team is maybe missing so let's get into the first sample set of this guide which is gonna be the Flyinium Z. We've got two variants of Flyinium Z in this guide. We're going to start with a physical build. So this one is going off the move Fly. It's a physical type flying type attack. It does normally take two turns to set up. So first turn you go up into the air, next turn you will come down and hit the Pokemon. But with the Flyinium Z you can take away that and it will just hit straight off on that first turn and be a base 175 powered physical attack. So it's pretty strong, especially with that 150 base attack stat that Rayquaza carries. We've went for nothing fancy with this Rayquaza. We've went for an adamant nature just to make sure that it's getting the most out of that attack stat, maximizing it. Four special defense and then 252 two speed just to make sure that we are being as fast as possible. So this will speed tie with modest type of Lele's but it will outspeed all things like modest Kyogre, adamant Groudon, 
and so on and so on. We've got an attacking calculation example here for you to show you the power of this Z move from Rekwaza. So 252 attack requires a supersonic sky strike versus a 4 HP no defense Xerneas, which is just going to be your regular standard Xerneas, is it has a 68.8% .8 chance to one hit kill, so it's pretty powerful. Now, if you can get a Dragon Dance up, which I would highly recommend on this sort of set, then that will be a guaranteed one hit kill on pretty much all Xerneas builds. So very powerful, very offensive, and very threatening if you've got that there. Defensive calculation, just to show you what it can do, what it's capable of without any investment. A 252 special attack Tapu Koko, so timid Tapu Koko Thunderbolt. Versus this requires it in electric terrain, has only got a damage output of 56 to 67%. So all of the time you're in front of a Tapu Koko, as long as you know it's not got that Z move, you can pretty be comfortable that you're gonna take that attack and be able to get either a Dragon Dance off or an attack off, um, or an extreme speed off before it goes down. Common partners you're gonna see with this sort of requires like a lot of dragons you're going to see stack attacker as a nice option with it because of its steel type it does have the ability to flip the dimensions under the trick room and make itself very threatening very quickly you've got common partners like Kyogre are going to benefit from Rayquaza extremely well especially against Groudons because you can switch in your Rayquaza get rid of the sun and make sure that Kyogre if it is scarfed it is going to be hitting first and being able to knock out that Groudon taking away the sun's ability to dampen the water type attacks Amoongus is another nice option as well with Rayquaza especially because it's prone to ice type attacks and fairy type attacks with that redirection there it does support very nicely you can put other things in that slot like Clefairy as well but the Amoongus gives you a nice option in case Trick Room goes up and you've got that kind of side of the field to deal with that aspect if Rayquaza is a bit vulnerable in those situations. Common checks are going to be things like Xerneas. Alola Ninetales although it's not very common will give Rayquaza a very hard time both ice and fairy weakness and faster than requires I can just deal with it very easily the Ganadel is going to be another one I've just thrown in there that you have to be careful of if you're playing requires because again it will outspeed you just naturally and it will have access to things that can knock you out pretty easily so that is the first example of the fly in Z set we're going to move on to the next one which is based off a special Rayquaza rather than a physical Rayquaza. So rather than going off the fly for the fly in EMC, we're going to go off air slash on this one. So things that you're going to see common attacks on this kind of Rayquaza are going to be earth power, flamethrower, extreme speed, and then tailwind. Probably not going to see dragon dance too much on this sort of set. We've went for a modest nature. EV spread of 36 HP, 44 defense, 92 special attack, 116 special defense, and 220 speed. The 220 speed here allows you to get the jump on all neutral natured max speed base 90s and anything below that so that again is going to be things like Morris Kyogre, Adam and Groudon and all the other base 90 Pokemon in the format. Tag and calculation here with the supersonic sky strike off that air slash it's going to be versus a 236 HP 196 special defense Amoongus which is always going to be a guaranteed one hit kill so that's your standard Amoongus that you're going to see primarily in this sort of format so you can know that you're going to be able to remove that from the field if that is something that your team struggles against then you get yourself in a position intimidate's not going to weaken it uh, you've got to be careful against snarls but for the most time you're going to be able to remove that Amoongus pretty easily defensive calculation here you can see the defensive investment that we've got does allow you to survive a 252 special attack timid Tapu Lele Moonblast pretty much 100% of the time it's only got a 6.3% chance to one hit kill again we've kept the common partners in common checks just for this same build but we'll move on to some variants of those as we go through the next guides but two options there that you can use the flying EMZ if you want to go off a physical variant you can do it's got a lot more power you've got a lot more options with the dragon dance there or you can go down a more special route with that air slash giving yourself and your teammates options of speed control support there as well with the tailwind to different builds to go forward with and test out yourselves right we're going to move on to our next example set and that is going to be the assault vest Assault Vest is not a massively common item that you see on Rayquaza, but it's a nice option. I think it'll become more popular as we go into the Ultra series, but right now it still has good utility and we can see what it can do from the examples down below. We went for another Modest Nature and EV spread of 4 HP, 28 Defense, 92 Special Attack, 188 Special Defense and 196 Speed. And that speed stat just allows you to get the jump on max speed Smeagol. So I'll give you a raw speed stat of 140, which is 
is quite a nice benchmark so you know anything below that you're going to be faster than so that's all right um attacking calculation example here so you've got 92 special attack requires an earth power versus a 252 for defense sogalea was guaranteed to hit girl which is very nice for you going forward it's also going to do really good damage to things like incineral common options like that Dialga, Nihiligo can hit for good damage and um, the flamethrower is also going to be a very good utility on there if you do decide to go down that route. Defensive calculation here we've got 252 special attack Kyoga ice beam so modest Kyoga Ice Beam against this requires there's always going to be two hit KO. So you can sit pretty safely on the field and know that you're able to take that attack in particular, as well as a, a flurry of other things. I'm going to say common partners here are going to be things like Sogaleo, Incineroar, and Serena. The Serena is a very interesting one here because being flying, you are off the, the floor, so you're not affected by terrain. So if you've got Tapulele in your team, you can't really protect Requaza from those priority attacks. But Serena gives you that nice option, and for the most part, most ice type attacks are coming from water type pokemon so serena gives you nice coverage there incineroar is going to be nice for the intimidate support the fake out support to help you get a bit of room for requaza to operate and sogaleo is something again that helps against those fairy types that do cause requaza a lot of issues common checks we're going to see are things like nilego that can outspeed naturally threaten with hidden power ice which could be a big big problem and if you aren't running earth power you've got nothing really to hit it back for good damage with tapa coco is going to be another one especially again if you've not got that earth power earth power an extremely important option on requires just to hit these checks because otherwise they can just sit in front of you quite easily and do a lot of damage and just deal with requires very easily so that is the assault vest set we're going to move on to our next one which is going to be the focus sash set we have went for a naive nature here because we're taking advantage of both its physical and its special attack stat and with the focus sash you're kind of allowing yourself a little bit of room so it doesn't matter what attack is coming out on you you know you're going to be able to take it we went for an ev spread of 20 hp for attack 156 special attack that should be 72 special defense and 252 speed so we've got 100 156 special attack requires an air slash versus a 236 180 special defense Amoongus and that is always going to be a one hit kill so you've got that kind of falling back on there. Defensive calculation here for this particular Requaza but you can take a 252 special attack Fairy Aura Dazzling Gleam from a Xerneas it's always going to be a two hit kill even without the, uh, the, the focus sash so if for some reason your item is lost because of something like Magic Room you've got that little calculation in the back your mind that you know you can take you're going to see common partners with this sort of requaza you're going to see cartana tapulele and lander theory and lander is a nice one to pair with requaza just for the intimidate support and it gives it something next to it so it can fire off those earthquakes pretty freely and not worry about hitting a partnering pokemon common checks are going to be things like tapulele zygarde is going to be a bit of a problem for requaza to hit and sogaleo as well especially if you haven't got access to that earth power so that is the focus sash variant we'll move on to our next sample set which is going to be the psychic seed very interesting option for Rayquaza going into this next example because I feel like it's got a lot of potential a bit like the assault vest so you can take a lot of those special attacks a lot better with Rayquaza but it gives you the option to utilize speed control and support the rest of your team quite nicely we've went again for a modest nature effort value here of 12 HP 236 special attack 36 special defense and 220 speed again the 220 speed just gives you the jump on all those base 90s max neutral natured attack and calculation here we've got 236 special attack requires an air slash versus at 4 hp no special defense ludicola like we mentioned earlier it is guaranteed one hit kill which is very nice and like i said in the previous example you're going to be able to pick up that knockout because it negates the rain so it hasn't got access to that swift swim ability as long as requires is out on the field and a defensive calc here after that psychic seed has activated you can see that a 252 special attack fairy or a boosted moonblast from a Xerneas is a two hit kill so you can always take that moonblast from Xerneas so that's really nice knowing that in the back of your mind if Xerneas is out you can always guarantee that tailwind up common partners you're going to see with this sort of requaza again are going to be things like Xerneas Tapulele is obviously going to be a staple for this sort of set because you need the terrain to activate that seed Clefairy is a nice option there for the redirection just support with icy wind and other 
examples help in hand and things like that and ferrothorn as well going to be another thing that can come in and deal with those fairies that are so threatening to rayquaza going to say common checks are going to be things like dustman the crossman especially with that earth power even if you've got it dustman the crossman will be able to take that might have access to weakness policy and can return with some big damage going to have access to trick room there something that Rayquaza doesn't really tend to like being in that sort of environment so you've got to be careful with that make sure that you've got checks in your team to deal with trick room especially Tapulele going to be something that can threaten Rayquaza pretty hard especially the more common variants these days are running timid so you need to watch out for those quite a lot and then you've got a bomber snow as well it's a bit like the uh, nine tails that we saw earlier but on the opposite end of the spectrum if a trick room goes up and a bomber snow comes in you want to be getting your Rayquaza out of there even though you do negate that hail ability a bomber snow can have access and still has access to some other ice type attacks which it doesn't generally rely on just the hail for so there we go there is a psychic seed set and we will finish off with a counter options and summary table so requaza has a maximum speed stat raw speed stat of 161 so if you're going to counter requaza you need to make sure that you're hitting above that to just give yourself that little bit of security you can hit it before it hits you minimum speed if it goes at zero speed IV and no investment then it will only hit 90 speed stat so again if you're going in trick room make sure you're under that one for particular Rayquaza and then a common speed stat that you're going to see on the Rayquaza is that just neutral nature with 220 speed EV investment which gives you that 143 speed stat giving you the jump on all of the base 90s neutral nature max speed common items you're going to see on Rayquaza in the moon series in particular you're going to see that flying EMZ that's going to be a big one on Rayquaza are taking advantage of that flying type and also it's big attack and special attack stats focus sash is going to be another one as, as well as that assault vest and the psychic seed could pick up a little bit of popularity as well as the misty seed as well going to see common partners are going to be things like stack attacker kyogre is always going to be a very good partner for rayquaza with that airlock ability and then incineroar as well just because it is able to cycle those intimidates it's very good in this format as we've all seen has fake out pressure as well and it is a nice pivot as well to help you readjust your board position to help further support rayquaza best format checks are going to be things like xerneas tabulele lola ninetales palkia kyogre and curum white all things that threaten it very hard and rayquaza will find it very difficult to deal with if it hasn't got the right support options next to it and best format walls are going to be things like tapu koko it is going to be naturally faster than it, it has access to most of the time that electrium z which does threaten rayquaza very very hard hard you got tapu finny you can sit in front of it all day long doesn't care about really any attacks that are coming out from the rayquaza unless it has got that physical fly in emz attack coming out onto it and then again as long as tapu finny is protected by intimidate support it can probably manage all right and throw off icy winds nature's madnesses moon blasts that are all going to cause rayquaza lots of issues and then dialga as well especially if you're missing that earth power on your own rayquaza then dialga can do a lot of work against you set up trick room throw out dragon pulses and just do all sorts of shenanigans that are going to make life very difficult for you as a Rayquaza player so things to consider when you're going forward playing Rayquaza but I hope you've enjoyed the examples that we've covered today and hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration as you're going forward in your builds and trying out Rayquaza if you do test any of the sets out from the guides today let me know in the comment section below I'd love to hear how you get on with them or any ideas that you've had about running Rayquaza yourself but this is hopefully just an introduction to Rayquaza give you a bit of an idea with what starting points you can go to what it's capable of in battle and really just something for you to build on and take forward so hopefully you've enjoyed it guys thank you as always and we'll be back very soon with another guide so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye